Hello, hello, everybody. I'm gonna get the chat open first. Hmm, how do you do it? Let's use the screen. Just wait a couple minutes for everybody to find the stream. I was totally trying to eat lunch. Sorry, I'm a little late. <laughs> um, 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 um. Okay. I'm back. Guess what? I didn't think the mail was running today because it's Labor Day. Good morning. Where'd my check? Here are ways that can oh help you gosh. tell if. I have a commercial on my own. Oh my gosh. What happened? That's not my video. I keep your. Oh. Uh, okay, I got it. The Red Palapa. I hope I said that right. Good morning. And there's Ensign Shop Pickers. Um, so again, I, I thought that the mail wasn't running today, and it totally is. A van just drove by my house that dropped off a... I don't know why it says Amazon Prime, because I ordered it off eBay, so they're drop shipping from Amazon to eBay for this book, which is fine with me. Twice this happened. Um, cause again, I returned one book and then I per purchased book three. Let's just, I'll show y'all real quick. And I'm almost tempted, um, to do a video after this. I don't know why, just to, I want to do a video over this book real quick. <clears throat> Not in this show, but show y'all what I got. It's the Crystal Bible 3, and I kept hearing people talk about the Crystal Bible. I said it right, Palapa. Um, again, I accidentally ordered book one, and I was like, no, I want book three. I want the newest one out for the best education. And book one immediately didn't... Uh, Ooh, this excites me because I have a couple pieces that I already need to look up, like this piece right here that we talked about in the other haul. I bet it's in here. We'll talk about it in the other video. But yeah, this book already has way more better pictures of the rocks than book one. Yay! I'm so excited! Okay, working on listing DVDs. Okay. Get it, Pickers. I'm going to do some jewelry and some shoes later on eBay and Poshmark. Make some money. Okay. Let's get into the first thing. So, randomly, I had found this that I forgot to show you on the other haul. It has a, what is it, Della 97 or whatever this is. It's Maybe they marked it down. Yeah, look, somebody tried to sell it for 75 cents. I got it at the pound store. Oh, we're going to go get something. I forgot to show you guys. Uh, no, I sold that for Drader. Um, anywho, this is the wood background, so it's great when you're selling on eBay and stuff and Poshmark. It's an adhesive... Is that say plastic? That is so awesome because the plastic is way cleaner, way more cleanable than paper. So I'm super happy that I found this and I can't believe that it only costs that much at Walmart. I said Walmart. Um, so I got a whole roll. It's three yards. It says 1987, you guys. So I think this is a vintage one. <laughs> They more than likely do not sell this for $2 anymore. Okay, I'm going to show you the coolest piece first. I was going to like kind of tease y'all and show y'all last, but <coughs> we won't do that. Ready? I hope like a like, snake or something doesn't come crawling out of this. That's how scary it is. What am I going to do with it? Um, I'll show you. So it's great to put, like, let's say I got a big shipment and it came in a cardboard box, right? Well, you can 
cut out a big section of that cardboard box for a background for listing. That's what I've done for my jewelry. Like, and I get to take that little cardboard square outside in the sun, or I can take pictures in my house and I literally have paper. I have a roll of the wood paper. I'll show you. I actually have pictures um, of my listings right here on my Poshmark. The one I use is paper and this one's plastic. So I just feel already that the pictures are going to already be better. I'm not logged into my mom's. People, all people. Smith 4190, there I am. Okay, so right here. Like, for instance, this wood background is a paper background, and I've been listing my jewelry on there. Like, like that. So, I, that, since we're on the topic of that, let me go grab something. It'll take me, like, a minute or two. I'm going to grab a really big piece I bought for that. Okay, I'm back. But if I can fit it through my doorway. Okay, someone shoot me, right? Because this is kind of heavy, so I paid up for it, and I'm such a cheap ass, right? I tell you what, I literally weighed this. So this is like for a science project, okay? Like you can open it up into, I don't even have enough room right here to show you guys because I'm working with a little space, but see how it opens up. And then I have another section that opens up there. So if I wanted to, that stuff is adhesive. So if I wanted to put the wood background and either use um, a spray adhesive glue or see if the adhesive works on that paper just by itself, then I could have this as a movable listing area is see what I mean kind of like I don't know I can't remember what she charged me for that um it's feather light something it's called feather light the red palapa says I have that as my background I find I found it at the bins that's funny is yours as big as mine mine has one two three four four slots and it boom opens up the cashier was like those are expensive in the store but I don't know how much they cost I didn't care I just want it for the background so okay I'm like all over the place. Okay, in the title of my video, I have Australian, yes. You gotta go potty? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the Australian Stockman's Coat. And this is by Morrison. Morrison's uh, Members of Quality Apparel. It's a medium. And it's like a you know, herding cows or herding horses. It smells like oil. It's stanky. Um, but it's an excellent condition. And I'm pretty sure it's vintage. And it's called a oil skin coat. Ugh. Will you close that door, please, Rattle Rattle? Please. No, you go on the other side of the door. You're waiting for daddy? All right. Okay. So similar ones have sold for like $100. So I did go ahead and get that even though it's heavy. <clears throat> All right. So this is the last of the haul. We're going to go through a bunch of clothes, okay? Okay. 
Hey, Chris, are you going to be in there a while? Because he probably is. No? Yeah. Oh, I was wondering if you were going to be in there a while because Rollins sitting here waiting for you, jumping up and down. Okay, see you. Later. Okay, sorry, guys. Um, I can't focus when my toddler's jumping around over here. I live in Texas. So here's a vintage tag. It says it's made in Mexico, clearly. Um, I do see a couple damages. However, it's a little girl's vintage dress. I went ahead and got it. Um, one, it needs to be fixed right here at the neckline, which is an easy fix. It's just stinking adorable, you guys. Some vintage clothes sell for good money. So there's the bottom trim. And then underneath the armpit, I think, it had a rip. Which I didn't know it had that many flaws, but I went ahead and got it. I don't care. It's adorable. Well, somewhere. Somewhere. I can't even find it. I guess it doesn't matter. I'll list it later on eBay more than likely. Okay. I'm not sure who makes this brand or who this is. It's Wildy or Wildy. Um, I kind of saw myself wearing this. It's a, a tunic dress and it's maroon striped. I actually may keep that possibly. This is an eyelet Old Navy. I don't pick it up very often, but this is um, a size large. It's almost brand new. I think it's got this vintage style eyelet bottom, and I believe it's 100% cotton. Let's check. That's cool. It's got a slip underneath of it that's also cotton and not cheap polyester, right? That's a plus. Meh, it doesn't matter, right? Pretty sure it's cotton. Hey, Flippin' Hustler. What state are you from, Palapa? Okay, y'all want to see, oh my gosh, like I have two like really cool pieces. I don't even know which one to show you first. It's that exciting. <clears throat> I think I'm going to show you the clothing part. Okay, you guys are going to really freak out when you see this piece, okay? I mean, like, I freaked out anyways. Oh, look, there's a receipt. Now we know what I spent on that board, I think. It might have been, like, 10 bucks. I bet that's what that one is. Okay, so on these clothes... And most of the hard goods, I spent like $47, you guys. Again, that um, jacket that I just showed you, the Australian oil skin whatever coat, that probably cost at least 6 bucks or 5 bucks on its own. Okay, now are you ready for me to show you? <laughs> it's a Wilson's leather dress, okay? This is the halter top, okay? This is the front of the dress. It literally zips down and comes all the way zipped down. However, it's backless and it's a mini dress, like a mini skirt dress. Completely 100% genuine leather vintage. It is made by... Wilson's leather size large. This was a score, man. Could you imagine going out with a hot chick wearing this? Like, it's a large. I can totally fit this. <laughs> I would never wear it. I would totally not like leave the house in that ever. Okay. <clears throat> I'm not sure if she charged me clothes for this or hard goods because this is actually um, a mural. Is it a wall mural I'm thinking of? Kind of reminds me of the oil skin too over there. 
I had to get this beautiful artwork piece. I have no idea how somebody made this, but it is dyed. The stories that dress must have. Yes, sir. Look at this, you guys. It's really crispy and like rough, but it's, oh my God. If I could frame this, I would. It is so stinking thick and rough. It's almost like I could rip it like paper, but it is 100% cotton and it's dyed with something kind of like wax. Oh, it is kind of like a wax. It's crazy. So here's the pictures. And it's it's massive, you guys. It's very, very large. I, I have no idea what the heck that is, but I could not leave it behind. Whatever. I love picking up some vintage pieces, okay? I picked up this vintage dress, and it is lace. It says California Charmer by Charm of Hollywood. Recommend dry cleaning. It is a size 9 to 10, which I don't think is true. This is a tiny little dress. Oh, maybe it is. I could actually fit it. Oh, look at that. Beautiful sleeves. Beautiful. Yeah, maybe it is. Look how thick and wider these are. Yeah, I could totally fit my arms in here. New backdrop. Wow. Yeah, I could fit it. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Just gave me a thought. Let's see here. Why'd you have to say that, Flippin? Don't be looking at my shoes. Apparently, I need to fill it up, don't I? I actually need to get rid of some of those. Okay. Let's see here. <clears throat> see, they used it for some kind of project. So I have a black background. I got a wedgie. Hold on. Um, and then I have a gray background. I'm going to use the gray so you guys can see it better. But I was going to put that, that tapestry up on here so we can see it better. So I'm show you how long this freaking thing is. It's not as long as the, the board. It's like move your kombucha out of there. Gah. That's, that's my bed. I can't move that. Well, you get the point, right? Oh, man. How freaking cool this thing is. This might help me to list it at least. I don't know. Probably could have listed it anywhere, but I haven't even got to look at it. Like, look how cool. Look, see, that's got the mountains. Um, sorry. I think I just showed down my shirt. Okay, moving along now. Hello, curtain. That's cool, right? I couldn't, I couldn't find. What the heck am I going to do with that? I don't even know what you call that. And is it like in Africa? And I wonder if someone signed it. So freaking cool. It's beautiful. I'm such an animal lover. Very vivid. Yes. And what did they paint with it? Like, I can be in Africa. They don't have mountains in Africa. Right? Do they? I don't know. No clue. Okay. <clears throat> they don't have mountains in Africa. All right, all right. I can't wait to see the size of this jacket. It's not going to be the size of my son. He got bigger. 
This looks like a 3T. What size is this? I found a North Face jacket. Oh, that is so cool, you guys. It's reversible. So it's the sizes in the pocket. Oh, yeah. Bummer. It's a 4T. We need about a 6T. We might can see if Ryland can fit this, but it's probably going to be too small. Um, but why not sell it because it'll be a good profit. He doesn't need to wear this preppy jacket that somebody will steal or something. I don't know. Um, very cool jacket. Reversible. I bet we'll see if it fits him, but it's not going to fit him. If it even shows any sign of being too small, I'm not going to let him have it. Because uh, I would just rather make the money on it. So I took a huge risk on this vintage piece. It's just like a, I don't know, a dress slash nightgown, like around the house piece. It also does not have a brand or size tag, meaning <clears throat> it's probably homemade, handmade, excuse me, that kombucha. Um, however, it's bright white. It has no stains and no flaws. I can still measure this and sell it for pretty high. I mean, I would say we could list this for, I see a little stain right there. Any, any price above $60 for this, um, as long as we put the measurements. There are mountains in Africa, such as Mount Kilimanjaro. Kilimanjaro. Okay. I haven't really got to look and see. Man, I don't feel good. I refuse to take medication, except for the first day for my cold. Um, I haven't looked to see if there's any engravings. You guys are seeing all this stuff for the first time with me um, since I had got it at the store. So I didn't really get to look it over. Thanks for letting me know. I bet that is Africa. <coughs> <coughs> I bet it is. Okay. So I don't really get too excited about free people anymore. Um, unless it's like Sheila Graham. Boy, she'd be selling those free people denim blue jean coveralls, you know, the suspender coverall thingies. If you find those, they sell for like a hundred bucks, but some of the free people's hit or miss, but I still always pick it up because it still sells in my garage sales if I don't sell it online. Here I have a patch. See, it's got patches, a patchwork skirt. It's what do you call it? Kind of hippie, maybe bohos, maybe, I don't know, would y'all put peasant in there too? I never use that word, but I need to. So there's a skirt. Um, surprisingly enough, you guys, Ed Hardy does still sell on Poshmark pretty well. And I got this one because of all the bling. But it does have a hole. It has um, a tiny hole down here at the bottom. And then it also had another floss somewhere. But I didn't care because this thing is just like really decked out, you guys. Um, really cool. I was really blown away. Yeah, it's a cute skirt. Um, I was really blown away with the sales price on Poshmark for used Ed Hardy still. I thought this had like really died off, but apparently some of those chicas still love their Ed Hardy, you know, like Juicy Couture collectors or Coach collectors. I guess they still like it. Um, so I went ahead and got this one, even with the flaws. I have totally sold stuff on Poshmark with stains and holes and everything in the book. <clears throat> okay, B Bisu, I don't know how to say this. Bisu, Bisu, this brand is pretty good. I actually found this two-piece sleep set. Hello, eBay. My James Avery is getting bid up. See? 
um, for my little jewelry bags, I finally listed like tiny, tiny little um, pieces. And it took me like over two months. And it is like bidding up. Bid, bid, bid. $31, you guys, for a tiny little pearl. And when I say tiny, it's about the size of my thumbnail or smaller. So, okay. This is a medium. We got the top. I can't stand two-piece sets for bedtime. I just want something to throw over like what I'm wearing now and to just take off. Um, but I found the bottoms. So I went ahead and got them. And look at the cute little slit at the legs. Okay, fluffy. Yeah, I'm really loving my eBay right now. I just need to get some more listings up. I hate that I'm paying $5 a month for a store and I have less than 100 listings. Okay, so this dress I might keep because it's not expensive, but it's adorable. So it's got this cross back. Um, got some little cross straps in the front. It's embroidered. It's kind of short. I might have to wear shorts underneath of it. Um, but again, yeah, it's just sequin hearts. It's like a Dillard's brand, I think, locally in my store. A medium? I don't know. I might wear it once or twice, and then I'll get rid of it. So I'll try it on. <clears throat> Yeah, so all because of that jewelry, the James Avery jewelry that's selling, like, tiny little pieces. Y'all know, you've seen my jewelry hauls. I have, like, tons of jewelry. I am literally going to just start putting up little pieces that I don't even know. And I'm going to let people bid the crap out of them. Or if they don't sell, then I'm going to donate them. But it's definitely worth the risk to just list little things because... I can ship tiny pieces of jewelry for cheap. Okay, um, moving along. Dear John, so I've seen these jeans somehow, or maybe YouTubers talk about it, resellers, I don't know. I saw this brand before, um, and I as soon as I saw this, I was like, hey, I think these are really good jeans. So I looked them up, and they are okay, good sellers, but check it out. The crotch is ripped way down here, but even I bought Hollister shorts that have that much of an inseam. So I went ahead and bought these Dear John pants, and I'm going to cut these hoes up into some shorts. And they might even fit me because they're a 31. 31's like maybe starting to fall off of me. Um, but yeah, anything like a 30 would fit me just perfect. So there's the tag. I cannot wait to try those out. And that, that dawned on me, you guys, because typically I find really good pants and the crotch is cut out. And I never thought to myself, who is it, Thrifty Christy or Maddie? I think it's Thrifty Christy that loves to distress stuff. And I just can't believe that I've been passing up denim that could have been cut into some booty shorts. And I've been told not to use that word on YouTube because that's offending people. So I'm sorry. You know, Daisy Dukes, short shorts, whatever you want me to call them. Sorry. They're literally booty shorts. <laughs> um... Okay, vintage piece. Hello. This piece, I love it. Look at it. Oh, is it vintage? Yeah, 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 yeah. It is. I hear a truck. It must be Chris leaving. I thought he already left. So, polka dot. What is this? It looks like it's an underslip because you can see. So, and then it's got, yeah, I think it needs another piece to it. But I don't know. It's got pleats down here. 
Um, it's totally got the vintage maker tag. What does it say? Plumping? Seriously, somebody hand wrote plumping. Well, they weren't mad. Uh, are you talking about the booty shorts, best friend in your thread? No, somebody had just, I totally understand. Uh, I was thinking after my video a minute ago, I was talking trash about beards and how I do speak my opinion very clearly, but I may offend people like, like I have friends that have beards that watch YouTube and I'm like talking trash about how I don't even want to kiss my hubby because this beard hurts. Like it really does hurt. Um, anyways, booty shorts. One lady was just like, well, you might just some of your words, you might just be careful because some of your viewers wear those shorts. And I, oh, I call them hoochie mama shorts and <laughs> sorry. <laughs> So there's my Made in the USA tag showing its vintage. I love this piece mostly because of the polka dots and the pleats. <laughs> you like my personality, thanks. Um, okay, this I couldn't resist getting. Oh, this is like, what? Like this wouldn't even go over my butt. This would be like a shirt. Seriously, this would not go over my big butt. This thing is so adorable. Oh, I'm like, is it, is it vintage too? No, it's not, but kind of. It's Alexandra collection size medium, even though it should be considered an extra small. Jessica Rabbit. Oh, okay. <clears throat> medium. And there's our Alexander silky tag. Oh my gosh, this thing is adorable. It is a dress. Goes up on your neck. Oh my God. Oh my God. Could you imagine feeling like a million dollars in this dress? Ouch. Like, golly. It's exciting. Okay, I almost threw this back, but it's so freaking funky, it's fun. <clears throat> and I think it's a crop top. Check this out. It's like so artsy. Artsy! I know, I really, literally almost wanted to say artsy fartsy. Okay, check out this cool ass piece. I don't even know who makes this. Oh yeah, I'm going to the office now. Wait. I was going to say, I'm going, and I can't remember this song. Look at how cool this piece is. I knew that it had style. Like, oh my gosh, this thing is heaven, you guys. I love stylish stuff like this. Um, So rare. I do believe this is made in a, not in the United States. We're about to find out. This piece is amazing. I am in love with this ugly shirt. I, I could wear this, literally. Um, so apparently there's no buttons. You would have to, let's see, is it a wrap? You would have to want, wait, yeah, you would have to wear a shirt underneath of this because it doesn't cover. So it's like, what, what, do, what would you call it? A Not a cardigan, right? Oh my god, I love this. It's almost like brand new, too. Mishka? Mishka? Oh, it's only made in China. I thought it said, like, you know, Europe or something crazy, like, somewhere weird. So there's a tag. This piece is amazing. I would probably need to model this before it's listed. It is 100% cotton. I love it! Blazer, like a blouse of some kind. <clears throat> I don't know why I love this piece. I love that it contrasts from the geo to the, oh, to everything about it. I love it. I love it. <clears throat> We're almost done. Oh, Lordy. <clears throat> Here's another vintage piece. This actually has no size and no brand, again, but it's so adorable that I can risk it and list it and measure it. 
So here is a shirt, whatever you call it. It has the clasps in the back. I don't even know what you call those clasps. It's got your vintage little zipper. Um, oh, I loved the poofy looking sleeves here. Look at these big buttons. I can't believe the mail is running today. I thought it was closed on Labor Day. So yeah, it's just a longer shirt. Is it called a mock neck? I don't even know what that's called. I would put the word turtleneck, but that's not even what it's called, is it? Like, I love this piece so much, I'm gonna put it on. But I think it's too small for me. <laughs> I can't fit my head in there. <laughs> Hold on. I feel like Beetlejuice. I'm all blushing now because I'm embarrassed. I feel like that 70s show or something. Hey! I'd call it a mock. Thanks. Isn't it so pretty? I'm all so pretty. I could totally wear this. Yes, I could. Okay, moving along. So I don't like stuff around my neck though. Uh, literally, I cannot stand stuff on my neck. Okay, I threw this shirt back, right? I threw this new tag Ralph Lauren. They even put the stupid marker on it. Like, that's a fail. It's a 3X. I threw it back and boy, there were two ladies that just about grabbed it. And then I said, no, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get it anyways because it had a stain on it. So, okay, yeah, it's not that great. $75 tag, Ralph Lauren. This is the proof of purchase from Dillard's, meaning that if you see this yellow tag, it's from Dillard's. Um, <clears throat> let's see. It is a white business career, whatever you call these. I don't know. It reminds me of Pretty Woman where she wears her husband's white shirt. So sexy, right? Um, it says Beacon F White. Now, it does have something red right here. So, I don't think anybody wanted to buy it because it may not come out. So, I'm going to have to list it like that. Oh, look. That is going to be covered up by the other wrap. See? When you button it, you're not even going to see it. I didn't even think about that. French cuff? What does that mean? The cuff on the wrist. So yeah, when you button it, it's not even going to show. Perfect. Um, I do believe there was one tiny other flaw somewhere, but so small that it probably would come out on the wash. And then when I threw it back, this is why I stopped and I said, no, I think I do want that because I saw the pearls popping out of the cuff. And when I went to touch it or look at it, these pearls actually are like a jewelry piece, you guys, look. And it even came with extra. Isn't that cool? So let me put it back so I don't lose it. That is so nifty. <clears throat> So the pearls are what made me come back and get it. I was like, hold on, I see some pearls. And just the pearls alone. I was like, yes, the type of dress shirt that requires cuff links. Oh, so French cuff. I probably won't remember that. <coughs> so there's that. That's pretty nice. And this is really cool also i can't believe that i almost threw it back look it was at goodwill and nobody wanted to buy it um 
the shirts at my Goodwill are like three or five dollars, one of the two. So nobody wanted to buy this even at the local Goodwill store for the three dollars, I think is what they charge because of that red stain. But I'll take it to the pound store. Okay, a couple more items. I'm getting really hot up in this thing. <laughs> this is like a Halloween costume to me. You totally go out in this for Halloween. Uh, the Brady Bunch or something? That's what I feel like. Anybody else feel it? Okay, so y'all always know, I always tell you, I do not pick up blue jeans very often. They just, to me, take up a lot of room. They're big and bulky. I like to, I like to sell small stuff. However, if it's a good seller, I'll risk it sometimes. So I found these really nice Lucky Brand. Um, 829 size. They're super stretchy. They may even be able to fit me. I might try those on, but I don't really need these, to be honest, you guys. Um, Lucky Brand can sell for like $100 in Dillard's, so they're a good seller. If you find the right buyer. Okay. If you watch my hauls, you will know that I pick up robes, especially if they are a hundred percent cotton. I recently picked up one that was similar to this. Um, but the inside was like really nice kind of thick terry cloth. Man, I washed that bad boy, and I am keeping it for myself, and I use it all the time, and I freaking love it. I gave my mom my old robe that I had spent $40 online. I hate buying stuff online. Like, you buy stuff online, and it gets there, and you don't even like it. It's retarded. Um, so here's this vintage robe. Um, I don't know why, but I really liked it. I don't know. It's very weird to pick up robes, but they're freaking expensive. To get a cotton robe, I cannot stand polyester robes. So, I like to buy cotton ones. Okay, I have two pieces to show you guys. <clears throat> Ryu, I guess. Some of these pieces can be a collab with Anthropology. Um, but it's also just like a Dillard's brand, mall brand in my local town, I believe. That yes, the type of dress shirt that requires cufflinks. Oh, what? Oh, because of the polka dots? LOL says that and sells online. Yes! I, yes, I hate to shop online. I never do. Well, I mean, clothes wise, like hard goods. Yes. But if it's clothes, like I ordered my robe for like 40 to $50 online and that sucker got here and it was freaking huge and heavy. It's like, I didn't want that heavy of a robe. Um, and the color came and it was like this ugly green turquoise blue color. Like, yeah, okay. I used it for about a year and now my mom's wearing it. It gets pretty cold at my mom's house. So my mom's going to love my old robe this winter. Uh, a Cobra 456. Are you saying that because of my shirt? Look, I can take it off. <laughs> oh my God, I needed to anyways because it was getting hot. Except that now I have buttons that are stuck in my nappy hair. True story. Oh, okay, it's those clasps. I'm the same. You buy clothes from a brick and mortar. Yeah, I do not buy clothes ever online. Ever, ever, ever. I gotta take this thing off too after this video. It's kind of tarnished, so it'll turn your neck green if you wear it too long. But isn't it pretty? Pretty with the blonde hair. Oh, <laughs> I know, right? I'm taking off my clothes over here. Uh, so funny. Okay, sorry, I didn't finish this. So it's a polka dotted, really cool dress. It's super soft, you guys. And then the roughly, um, oh, is it tinsel or 
Ooh, two, two, bottom. I can't think of this. Is it pencil? I don't know. For some what reason, there's all these strings hanging, so it's probably got a lot more going on than I'm not showing you. Are y'all ready for the last piece? It's really not special. I don't know why it's the last piece. It's just what was at the bottom of the bag. Um, it's a men's shirt. <clears throat> wonder if I can do my video next of the Crystal Bible. I have to think about that for a minute. I might do a couple listings first and do the Bible later. Crystal Bible? I don't know. I don't know. And I don't think I'm going to go shopping today because the kids are home. And Ryland does not like to go shopping. He'd rather just stay at home and play video games, literally. Um, and I won't make him go shopping with me on his day off for Labor Day, which I don't even know if the pound store is open today. So my last piece is kind of looks vintage, really, but I'm not sure. I could be lying on that or not telling the truth, whatever you want to call it. Um, never heard of it. It's Island Republic, a declaration of style. It's a size extra large, however, it's been washed, probably not dry cleaned, but in the washer. So it's 55% silk and 45% rayon. Why did I get this? Okay, yeah. It's a men's shirt. Again, it's the, how much silk? 55% silk. But if you get up closely, I do believe there's some palm trees in here. Some kind of plant life. I don't know. But I do love to pick up like Hawaiian or beachy shirts for men. I don't see them very often. Um, I would definitely steam this before I list it because it's clearly um, wrinkly. But there's no stains and no holes. So probably won't sell till next year for win or summer next year. But it's clearly not an extra large. I'd say it's more like a large. So there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed my half of the morning haul. It's like what, two hours long or something. And if you didn't see our mural over here, we got this cool mural that's uber cool. So yeah, that's it. I didn't know what else to talk about. Let me know if you have any questions or comments in the chat below. Again, I hope you enjoyed it and happy, my table is wobbly. Um, I hope you have a wonderful Labor Day. What's today, Monday? Yeah, I was going to say weekend, but the weekend's over. So have a good day and we will probably talk to you later today or tomorrow. Peace out. Thanks for hanging out too. Bye.